Please. Warm is better. And I already know how it is. Sleepwalking dreams, future and past. Here in the present, it's track and cast. So, so, so. So, so, so. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Dragon Cast. We've had barbecue with the team. We're now gonna have brunch with a very, very special guest. Sam, how's your toast? Delicious, man. Mm. The, um, the guacamole is especially good. Mm. And the maestro, the chef today is somebody who's great service um, to the spill of streetboarding. Um, is being, um, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> for years. So his service to the sport of streetboarding, uh, it goes deeper than pretty much anybody else. From the um, first time we met, he was a 14 year old, uh, pulling a front 360 up over a head high gap, to double bat flips, um, bat to flip 50s. bat flip 50 50, that's a good one. Mm. Croissant. Um, Croissant. Uh, uh, Extraordinary. Yeah. It's Mr. Gabby Munoz. Present business skill zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a proper meal. This is just like my tricks, right? Like, uh, no style, but the tricks come out. <laughs> <laughs> you got style. Why don't I just pull it? Okay, cool. Back to back. Edge nice. the class on. Welcome, Gabby. How are you doing? Very well. <laughs> so. I don't know, where should we start? Should we start? <coughs> Just the, start, the start at the beginning. Yeah, start with the toe, start at the beginning. So, tell us, you know, how did you get into streetboarding? Because I remember meeting you when you were 14 in like 2000, and, 2000 2001, something like that. Oh, who knows? How, how did you first start, get started? And uh, let's start at the beginning. Eat, eat, um, have a bite. Well, the beginning is, uh, is my birthday. I think it was my 11th birthday, mm -hmm. and my brother Eric brought me my first snakeboard from the USA. Oh wow! He was he was living there, and then he he brought it all the way down because it was very hard to find here in Spain. Um, I saw it in the street. I saw Sergi. Um, I didn't know he was him mm -hmm. by then. But I saw just a random guy, and then so I won that. And then they brought it to me on birthday. Uh, and then I don't know. I just started writing, and that's that's how everything started. And ever since, I couldn't stop. <laughs> how did you um, hook up with Sergi then, and the, all the the rest of the the Barcelona crew? Mm -hmm. It was later. I started skating with a friend in high school, mm -hmm. Mal, and then you know he got me my first traps from Andorra mm -hmm. again. I'm gonna get it here, and then. I started skating with him like for, I don't know, a year or two years. Then we went to, we started going to Barcelona. That was like a trip, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know, we were 12, 13. And, um, and that's where I met him. I met him in Turo Park, which used to be like a, it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but it used to be a very nice skate park. What, and um, I think I met him in there. What, what attracted you to, to snakeboarding? It was so high. Mm -hmm. It was so fucking hard to move, man. Mm. And I was so stubborn. <laughs> I just wanted to make the thing go. Mm. <laughs> how, that, long did, how long did it take you to learn the movement? I think two days. Yeah. <laughs> now kids take it like in two hours. It took me like two days. It was... It was... It was hard. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Okay, cool. So... From there... Um, so then that you met up with the crew, Sergi, and that. Um, what what was it like back then? Were there a lot of riders in Barcelona? Yeah, yeah. Man, it was great. There was a um, there were a lot of teams. Shops had teams mm -hmm. for the snakeboard. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm, I also remember this time skating and, and a guy, old guy, probably he, he was twenty something, but for me it was old. So an old guy comes to me and says like, hey, wow, you're doing this thing, can you snowboard as well? I think I'm gonna pick you up and go snowboarding, maybe you can maybe you can join our team in snakeboard and snowboard and I'm like, whoa, 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 
that never happened eventually. Mm -hmm. um, but there were a lot of teams, there were a lot of shops linking both snowboarding and snakeboarding. And they were having these teams, which was very cool. Mm -hmm. And people were having very small salaries, uh, or that's what I thought. And, and I don't know, there was a, a whole scene. There were like, a, like Catalonia championships, Spanish nation, national championships. And I could see a lot of things going on, like a very solid and cool sport. What kind of year are we talking about? Mm, when I was 14, that should be 1999, maybe 2000, mm -hmm. something like that. Cool. cool. Um, and then, um, cause then what happened? Cause I, I, know, I, I know how it was in the UK when the snakeboards disappeared and everything kind of vanished and the US, but I, d I don't really know what happened in Spain. In Pardon? It sounds like it was bigger yeah. in yeah, Spain yeah. than it was in the UK. Hey, I was tough. Maybe that was my impression, but... <laughs> <laughs> Coffee time. Yeah, so the UK was 97. Mm -hmm. It was at the end of 97, but yeah. That's when um, Snakeball went bust or whatever yeah. happened, happened. Well, they sold it. Yeah, they went bust and sold on the trademark. Mm -hmm. um, oh, did... wait, wait. Oh, that should be earlier. I mean, when that happened, when that happened, Dimension already started, right? No. No? no? Dimension started oh, right. so 2001. 2000, oh. It was when we were in Barcelona okay. with Brinton. <laughs> Um, staying at Sergi's in 2001, filming for Shadow Monkeys, mm -hmm. and he got the first ever Dimension prototype. And, that's, uh, and they, I remember they really hit, it was uh, Nantes 2002, when they built the team and they, um, and they, and they had the first. Okay, okay, then I'm wrong. Mm. 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 But did you, um, did you enter the Spanish championships? Um... I guess I did. To be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I mean, at some point for sure, but I don't remember when I was using snakeboard. Um, I think I didn't. It wasn't until I was using, I'm not sure if AS1 mm -hmm. dimension or something tuned like a Frankenstein made of different parts. I remember some of the first contests, I was doing them with uh, whether AS1 or Flash. Do you remember Flash? I remember you being on an Anderson board in one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No, I also used Earthquake for a yeah. while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess my, my first competition was with Earthquake. I do remember a Catalan competition. Um, I guess one of my first ever contests to, to start. And this is a... Um, <laughs> this is a contest that I slept in a truck <laughs> because yeah because I didn't have a car I was living far from Barcelona so I didn't know I knew it was starting early in the morning mm -hmm. so I didn't know if I could make it with the first train so I said okay I'm gonna grab the last train I'll ride there by midnight it's a park probably I could sleep there <laughs> man it was so fucking windy oh, it, it was cold <laughs> and I was like oh fuck what am I gonna do here so I see this truck that couldn't close mm -hmm. because uh, a handrail was coming out of the of the back yeah. so it, it can fit <laughs> so i said like, hey there's a handrail there Fuck, wait a second i'm gonna i'm gonna sneak in so no. i sneak into the truck and then i slept among ramps and then i remember sergi and tony Moy yeah opening yeah. that truck and said like, hey there's a dude here <laughs> 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 and then, oh fuck it's Scotty. <laughs> so um, i said yeah good morning <laughs> and, and I won. That that was my first ever cool. contest to, to win. Then cool. So they didn't know. Did they know you? Then mm. they already knew you. Okay. But okay, I'm gonna skip ahead here a little bit. But it's it's a very it's very relevant. So, 2003 Los Angeles World Championships. Mm -hmm. One morning, we were staying in uh, uh, what was the area? Um, it was a pretty sketchy area at the time. Mm. Bellflower? No. No, Bellflower was where the contest was. Right. We were staying like in like somewhere in LA that wasn't. Yeah, with Brian. I was staying with Brian. Where did you? No, in the hotel. 
I never went to the hotel. You, dude. Okay, one more. Mm. Four. But no, no, yeah. I spent the night there, the night before the contest, I spent it in the hotel, motel, whatever. Yeah. You guys were all fucking party like crazy. It was my first <laughs> world championship and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Everyone is like, partying hard, there's girls are... Who the, who the fuck? What's going on? It was crazy. Yeah. It was really crazy. It didn't look like a contest. It looked like a fucking party. <laughs> and I didn't understand. So I was with Richard Greaves. Mm -hmm. Which for me, he was like a coach. Yeah. He was... He, he, I still believe he is one of the best. Oh, he has been one of the best guys to see someone's skills and let you know, like, look, you should do this, follow this strategy, do this yeah. tricks. He knew me better than I did. Yeah. He knew my tricks better than I did. Mm -hmm. So I remember him telling, like, okay, maybe we can sleep at Brian's car. Mm -hmm. Okay. So because he was very big, he didn't fit in the trunk. I fit in the trunk. So I slept in the trunk again. <laughs> and then he slept, <laughs> he slept inside the car. Yeah, for yeah. the morning, somebody opened the trunk and I'm there. You were naked, I heard. I guess so. Yeah, and I guess... <laughs> Locked in the trunk. I guess, yeah, I guess the temperature was good enough like, <laughs> yeah. to not sleep in pajama, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So that clears that up, because the story I heard was you'd gone out with some random, like, local guys to a party, and you met some guys on the street, and next thing in the morning, somebody opens the trunk, and Gabby's sleeping naked in Man, I like that. your story, man. That's what I knew, okay? <laughs> but I never actually knew what happened. No, that's, that's sweet, man. Yeah, um, yeah, that yeah. could have been a very rock and roll story, but... <laughs> no, the truth is that I saw the whole party and I freaked out and like, I don't know, I want to be... I want to be complete, man. It's yeah. The, the world championship. Yeah. I want to give my best. What the fuck? Let's go sleep. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I didn't go party. <laughs> I wouldn't be my freshest after sleeping naked and I'd love to be from <laughs> paper. Yeah. But... Well, well uh, I didn't have any other option. I'll pay for a hotel, but I didn't. No, I didn't have money. That 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 year, that was uh, yeah. The party room was our room. It was called Club. Brody called it Club Two One Six. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I heard very nasty stuff was going on with. I don't know if they were strippers or girls doing strip stripping or what. Um, not professionally, yeah. I don't know. But there were there were girls, and I guess there was a lot of alcohol. Yeah, there was. Uh, those times were crazy. I don't even remember much. I mean, there's some awesome photos online of of, of that. I think like we maybe we can no, dig no, up. I wasn't there. Oh, you were. Uh, you weren't there. No, Steph was there. Steph. Steph came to that one. Um, but that contest. So like while we're on it. <laughs> You pulled off probably one of the most legendary tricks ever, which was a backflip to 50 50. Mm -hmm. How the hell, first of all, did you even think of trying that? It was Richard. It was Richard. Yeah, of course. Um, I don't know. He said, like, what? Like, did you think about this? Um, no, but yeah, I see it. Cool, looks good. There's a handrail. Someone was, oh, David Allgood mm. was trying a transfer 450. Yes. Mm. The same rail. And then, I don't know, yeah. Richard told me, I think a bar click is better than 450. So try it, try to get it. But it was moving the fucking rail. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It was just like a sketchy like, practice rail that you put down mm -hmm. the flat pattern, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it was good because there was the ramp, the ramp with the rail. And then there was a very similar round just beside it without the rail. And I practiced there a few backflips. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, I felt like, yeah, backflips are coming out here. It was a, it didn't have a curve, so it was flat to flat. Yeah, flat to flat, no transition. But I always used to do that shit because before, like here, we didn't have that many good skate parks. Mm -hmm. So some of my first backflips were like flat, like mm -hmm. no transition. And I was used to just pull my head back and give the give the inertia with my neck and that made it man and they just place the rail there and i thought i'm gonna do the same shit mm -hmm. see what happens and it worked a bit late but it worked yeah, one best trip, <laughs> no 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 you won best trip no it was uh it was the fourth event <clears throat> so it was out of the country it, yeah um, yeah which but it was nice it was really cool everyone went crazy everyone went crazy where did you place in the street? Do you remember in that contest? I have no idea. No. And were you riding... I get very low. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <coughs> um, were you riding vert then? No. I no. don't know what it was. 
Actually, no. I saw Ingo was was getting inverted doing transfers from Ram to Ram. I think Sergio was right inverted by then. I didn't. I don't know. We didn't. You, we didn't have these ramps. Mm. I think Sergi traveled more by then, so he had more practice. But we didn't. Maybe maybe there was a ramp, but I didn't have access to Vert. So to me, it was like a very unknown, crazy stuff. Like, yeah, it's so high and what the hell. Oh no, I didn't even try. But I do remember a random guy, a Korean mm -hmm. random guy. There was a TV show going on at the same time as the world. Very random shit. It was like a reporter and a guy who never stepped on a on a snake board and they dropped him from a fucking what yeah. was it? Uh what nine, ten foot vert. Yeah. yeah. The guy just dropped like a stone. <laughs> I, was, I, I I don't know. I saw the show and like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a, you know, NBA they have cheerleaders. Yeah, and yeah, here yeah, we yeah. have a guy dropping like, like a stone, <laughs> <laughs> breaking off his bones. <laughs> <laughs> That was yeah, that was crazy. No, but fun. Um, so I'm thinking like 2003. Mm -hmm. That was, and then, so you know, I'm just trying to think what happened in that time because I mean, you started skating vert. So how did you get? How did you get into vert? Mm, well, thanks to Sergi, mm -hmm. like most of the stuff that happened to me, um, you know, like by then. There were two very important people in my skating. One was Richard, mm -hmm. because he knew all my tricks. He was a great coach, amazing. And then it was Sergi, that he was tagging me along with everything. He talked to me also, mm -hmm. he sponsored me. He, he even negotiated all my trips and yeah. my, no, 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 you have to pay Gabby, this plane tickets and these hotels and everything. I was not asking for anything, I was naive. And, I didn't know I could ask, so he was fighting for everything. So this was Neil Thompson from Highland Street. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my, my first sponsorship. And and that was amazing, man. And I don't know, at some point, Sergi got this... He got inside a show company. Mm -hmm. um, they had a bird. And then, at some point, he started inviting me for trainings. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then I eventually joined the show company. <laughs> because I was there in the trainings, they saw me, and at some point, I don't know. Um, I don't know, I naturally transitioned into, into shows, cool. which was very cool as well because they took me in without me doing very much, Yeah, you yeah. know, like I couldn't even drop, but I very quickly was pulling backflips, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> because I was like, yeah, fuck that, that, just don't drop, just do a backflip or whatever, and uh, it was a very sketchy yeah. situation to, I, I don't know if I would have invited my, myself yeah. into yeah, a yeah. show because it looks sketchy. It looks like a guy who's trying very hard, mm -hmm. is pulling backflips without controlling very much the ramp, but it's not good for the show. But this guy still brought me in, mm -hmm. this Neil, Neil Martin, what's his name? Uh, the rollerblader. Uh, yeah, the rollerblader, mm -hmm. exactly. And then, I don't know, thanks to him and Sergi to bring in me within all this show, I don't know, call it show business, show circus. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks to them, I started skating vert, mm -hmm. and I still skate the same ramp. Cool. I'm still till today. Yeah. 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 Cool. Who um did you were you the first to land a nine hundred on vert or? Holy shit! No, I think Sergio was. Yeah. I, I, I can't know. remember. I think I think yeah, but I don't know when. I don't know. Maybe before Sergio, somebody else did it. I mean, mm. I know that vert level was very high at some point, mm -hmm. even with snakeboards. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't venture. Mm. Saying if anybody mm. else did, mm. like for sure, no one did it before Tony Hawk. Mm. Otherwise, that would have been great news. We would know. Yeah. But yeah. afterwards, yes, at some point, mm. yeah. I remember at Worlds in Poland, so he did a, a bat nine hundred. Did he? Yeah, I'm pretty wow. sure. Yeah. Landed. I think so. Yeah, I'm no. sure he did. Oh, well. I just I just remember him doing huge front seven and his hat falling off. On the mm. box, so mm. at that was. I don't know. Yeah. Have you seen some snowboarder has done like a, a like a six spins at two thousand and ten? Is it <laughs> right now? Like nowadays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that shit on Instagram the other day. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's like done a three sixty before he's even taken off. <coughs> <coughs> That's insane, man. Yeah, mm. but six times three sixty. <laughs> Answers in the comments, please. Um. 
Cool. So yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, because you've got Highland, but we eight HBT and all of oh. those days. Shit. Maybe. I don't remember. Okay, HBT <laughs> came first. So maybe. Yeah. Actually, I think it was before they had boards. Yeah. They had wheels. Yes. First. And I think I got wheels from them, mm -hmm. which made me part of the team. Um. But then by the time they already got boards out, I was already probably doing Highland with HPT wheels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most likely, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, HPT, my God, Samuel Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. That was a very interesting and very positioned team. The style of all the riders yeah. were very, it was very directed. It was yeah. very focused yeah. on something specific. That was nice. Simon once told me that you turned up dressed like a Ninja Turtle. A ninja toe? Ninja turtle. Teenage, oh. teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And he refused to film you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very me. It's very, yeah. it's very possible. But around that time you used to wear like crazy headdresses and stuff like that when you were Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I used to do a lot of stuff. I guess. This is my question. I was, no, I was growing my personality. Mm -hmm. And I just was, I, I had the need to be loud for some mm -hmm. reason. Um, I was shy at conversation, so maybe that made up. I also remember something happening similar with Highland. With our board. With our board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we are in a board together. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In a board mm -hmm. graphic. Mm -hmm. I, I remember sending, um, again, I guess I was being very loud, but I sent a naked picture of me. And yeah. they, they say, hey, send us the picture you want us to print in the board. Yeah. With the rest of the team, and I was like doing this, like naked with my balls. Dude, I'm wearing a fucking sarong on that board. Oh, what? A sarong, it's like a. What's a like sarong? It's a skirt, basically. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. a skirt. You're yeah. naked. Oh, no. <laughs> it could have been so radical, man. Yeah. That would, would, would have, I don't know, be memorable. Yeah. I'd like to have a good point of that. Is that I don't know if anyone's still got one. Yes, yes, on Tuesday. There is a guy who brings this board. Oh, yeah. Every, every Tuesday, yeah. The cartel. Yeah, it's cool. Mm. Yeah. No, yeah, it was the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because, man, coming up with the name for that as well, it's like family, la familia. I, think. I remember going back and forth with Neil on that one. But, um, and Matt, Matt Jacobs did that graphic, didn't he? I think, I think so. Yeah. He, he was very cool by the moment. Yeah. He turned all the pictures into very cool drawings. drawings. Yeah. It was nice. He draws some pants on it. Yeah. Oh, back up. <laughs> um, have you seen Matt Jacobs naked? <laughs> um, no, he didn't send me any picture for me to draw. <laughs> Don't worry, I have some video that Josh uh, Newman sent me of Matt Jacobs. Uh, I'll show you later. It's impressive. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's it's impressive. I, I can even the scales. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, the scales are. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm just trying to think. What about so you, during that period? You must have travelled a lot. Like, what was one of the like the most memorable trips from you know those, Australia, like, Australia, the two thousand Australia? Yeah, who was that with? Uh, Australia with Sergio Man. Yeah, that was that was something else. We made a stopover of three four days in Singapore. So we did Singapore, Malaysia, and no, sorry, yeah, Singapore, Malaysia, and then Australia. Um, we, we met there, oh, fuck, oh no, man, how embarrassing, cut, cut, uh, it's Jim Proust, oh fuck, mm -hmm. I think it was a Tim, mm -hmm. it was a Tim, right, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 he took us in, actually, yeah, he, man, he put the first surfboard under my feet, Every mm -hmm. I grabbed my first wave, thanks to him, man, that changed my life, that was, that, until that point, I thought streetboard was the best sport in the world. After that day, I thought streetboard was almost the best sport in the world. I think surfing is. Why? What, what I'm is sorry it? to say this, no. but it is. Yeah, it, it just is. And that's thanks to the Tiananmen. Uh, what, uh, what, what, what is it about like surfing that grabs you? First, nature contact. You're in the sea. The sea is something magic. That's that's the first thing. And second, there's no wave like another. Every time is a different experience. Mm -hmm. And it's just so wild 
it's it's beautiful it's both calm and aggressive at the same time it's like relaxing and right. and it turns on all your adrenaline mm -hmm. it has everything it's very complete yeah. mm -hmm. i agree man i've i mean both sam and i um well we went recently actually that was really nice mm -hmm. my bodyboarding bodyboarding like since before streetboarding mm -hmm. i was like to do something different and my for me i'm I've done a bit of like sur stand up surfing, but um, I'm saving it for retirement. That's when I'm going to really put my time in. Man. That's when you want to lie on a board, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you do. Keep, keep active, man. Get on that, that, that's going to be my activities. Mm. Well, so that trip, that trip yeah. was amazing, man. Yeah. I remember that, and um, I know that would be the most memorable trip. Um, but I think that that could have changed. If I could have made it, um, I think three, four years ago, mm -hmm. Sergi went with Antonio Jesus and Thomas Ernst to, to the Mega Ramp, yeah, and the Mega mm, Ranch to, in Australia. Uh, yeah. What's that kid? That kid called that skates there, that lives there. Oh, um, yeah, he has a very interesting name uh, with skate, right? Mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the name. I don't know the name. But yeah, he's, he's probably the son of the guy who has the mega run. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a radical skater, man. Yeah. It's cool. So that would have been probably um, there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, Australia, what, what does it have? <laughs> it's so cool. But it's... <laughs> I've, been, I've only ever been for work, but I'd like, yeah, I'd like to go back. Did you go to, have you been to New Zealand? No. No. no not yet. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't. I'd like to. That'd be yeah. cool. Yeah, I'd like to go to you. It's like mega Yorkshire. Yeah, <laughs> mega Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, so, what? You, okay. So you, around that was that was around that period. You were on. You got on Highland. So <laughs> it helped helped you get on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, That's nice. Then um, two thousand and six. There was the World Championships in the UK. Man, that was my first. Yeah. <clears throat> that was my first man. Two thousand six is very really special. Yeah. That yeah. was uh, Peterborough? Peterborough, yeah. That was Peterborough. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Actually, we slept in a car at that <laughs> My time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that was your first world championships, the Peterborough one. Wait, there was not, two not the first to attend. Yeah. But the, the first that one. Did we have yeah. two in Peterborough? World worlds in Peterborough? No, one. No. We had UK championships there. Oh, all right. Um, so yeah, tell us about that that contest. How did it feel to win your first world championships? Um, it felt so so because um, you know Serge is my very good friend, mm -hmm. um, but for me to be champion of the world would mean to win Sergi, mm -hmm. and I didn't win Sergi because he got injured. Ah, yeah. He was trying double backflips. We were both trying double backflips in, in that fan box, uh, in the park section. But he got injured, I think he broke his arm. Yeah. yeah. So he couldn't compete. So it was great, it was amazing, I couldn't believe it. Um, I went back to Spain and I got news coverage that felt amazing. It's unbelievable. It's like, a, what's, what's going on? It's yeah. cool. Um, it felt very nice, but at the same time, I felt like, I cannot say I'm the world champion mm -hmm. because I know that that guy is way better than me yeah. and he's still I there. It's okay. just, he just happened to be injured. Mm -hmm. So it felt, it yeah. felt great, so-so, yeah. and at the same time, at the same event, I lost my conscience. I mean, I, I lost consciousness. I had a great accident. And, Man, you know, I, I, it was a mix of that you know, was good and bad things. <laughs> That was so scary. So just for the viewers out there, I was on the mic uh, commentating. I love commentating at contests. I hate it when you see, and it's, you know, we're all friends. So you see one of your friends go down hard. Uh, Gabby trying double backflip and just landed pretty much straight on his head. I, uh, I, I just couldn't look. So I was like, dude, uh, you were gone. I thought you were gone. Yeah. Yeah, the video is very, um, like, I, I don't remember, of course, yeah. the, the last part of it, <laughs> but the video is very spooky because you can see a line and hit my head, just like a dead body sliding off the fab box, like, the, just like a, like a, like a clothes toy. Mm. That, that's scary. But apparently I walked out. Well, I walked out, I walked yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Um, I don't remember any of that. No. I just remember waking up in a sofa and thinking, where are we? I'm like, yeah, you're, you're in the sofa. That's not like, I'm in the sofa. You're in the skate park. Oh, cool. And so how long after that did it take you to get your confidence back to go to doubles? Uh, I think, I think a year. A year in Mallorca Surfaction. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You did one, you put one down recently, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, last month. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, now, now it's a more, I mean, it's been, fuck, what, well, it's been, 14 years, 14, 14 years, man. That's been a lot. I mean, I, the, the first I land was, what, 2009 in NAS or 2008? I don't yeah. remember. Mm, on the Goliath uh, ramp. On the Goliath ramp. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. Like, what, what, what happened is that we didn't have, we didn't have, like, foam pits. Maybe they were, but they weren't available. Yeah. They weren't available. They weren't as popular. Um, so we had to try it on wood. Yeah, there was no resi either. Resi, people didn't have resi. There's, back there, there's no resi. And um, and yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess I was fine. I was I was not really thinking no. what was going on. So as far as I got back to Barcelona and they make a tag in my head and say, you're good. I said like, cool, let's, back. let's get let's back get to work. Uh, and probably in the next chance that I got a big enough ramp, I tried. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. That was the way. Three years, three years later, that was uh, three years later in yeah. contest. Because before that, oh, before that, Max Anderson landed it. Did he? In what? Resi, yeah. He oh, in landed, Resi. Yeah. He landed it before me in a skate uh, in Corby, I think. In a Resi, I remember we were both pushing it, and we were. I remember looking at him and saying, "Like, man, we are attempting to be the first ever mm -hmm. human being." on a street board than maybe on many other sports mm. because by then no one was doing maybe Travis Rice was doing double backflips a lot of players were doing double backflips a lot of, like, lot of players uh, what's his name Cesar and yeah, Cesar like, Moro, yeah. yeah and Matt Hoffman Matt Hoffman BMX, BMX. Yeah, yeah. yeah correct Wait, was Cesar Mora a rollerblade or a BMXer? He's a BMXer. He's, 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 Cesar Mora is a uh, rollerblade Roller, yeah, yeah, so yeah, who yeah. am I thinking of? oh um Dave Mira was yeah the, Dave uh, Mira yeah. BMXer Oh, yeah. Dave Mira, maybe it's Dave Mira. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I don't know. I remember looking at him and, and feeling like, shit, whoever make it first is going to be the first on a street board. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, yeah. But you were the first to put it down on wood. On wood, yeah, on wood in our contest. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was yeah. nice. Yeah. But, you know, to be fair, I had a way better ramp. Yeah, I mean, we had a ramp to fly. We had the time um, on Corby Skate Park. You just had to pull it, rah, yeah, aggressively yeah. on on Goliath. You just pull it and feel it and see it and, yeah, yeah. and land it. That was made. That was great. That, that was insane. There's a really good little um, piece that Colin Haran made. Um, yes, about the double backflip. I'll tr we'll try and find the link and mm. pop it in the description below. So hit that up. Um, yeah, Colin, that, those videos that Colin made of that contest were, were great. Amazing, man. They yeah. were a, one of the best souvenirs yeah. ever, yeah. like for one's memories. Yeah. Um, that was nice. I also, I also remember, now that you mentioned the video, I remember the video, and I also remember being sick before the contest and sleeping there like in a Highland and mm -hmm. event, whatever, before the contest. They like just laying down there sleeping like in, kind of like this, but then once you activate, I guess you, you warm up and... Yeah. Yeah, I think don't feel anything. that was the one that everyone, it was swine flu that was going around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you got really I got really sick. Yeah. You got, didn't you get sick as well? No, after? it was okay. No. Uh, no. Oh. Yeah, I got really sick after that one. But yeah, man, that was incredible. Snakeboarding killed it on the, on the Goliath. Like, more than any other sport. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That was, that ramp was fantastic man. Man. that was made for the sport king ramps yeah right yeah yeah, yeah. that was that was great that was great well i'm just curious like you know you, you are you've pulled you know double back flips mm -hmm. like the like the cut, cutting edge of like box tricks in, <coughs> in street boarding i mean where where do you think the limits are could do you have any other tricks in your mind that are possible, that, like crane pushing the limits oh, yeah. on, on a box, I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. I mean, I think I think the limits are unfortunately um, part, of a, a part of a street boarding uh, situation right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that all the sports since, you know, it's been like, what, 
14, yeah. 13 years since the first double backflip in street world, and it doesn't have gone forwards. That's because what well, we we didn't evolve. We we didn't have the chance to professionalize to get mm -hmm. good salaries and dedicate ourselves fully and enjoy the new situation full of skate parks and foam pits and yeah. ramps for training and there are now real good training possibilities yeah. and I feel that the next generations haven't picked up. Um, I think the limits are closer to what snowboarders are doing right now. Yeah. If we got into mega ramps, mm -hmm. probably we would we would be doing things similar to snowboard. Maybe maybe not getting mm -hmm. a six times 360 <laughs> yet, but, but I believe we could be doing something similar. Um, I know for sure that me on a foam pit in Woodward have been pulling like switch double backflips, double rodeos, um, 12, uh, 1200s and double backside rodeos. So that can be done for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's just I'm too old for that shit. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, maybe in the next contest I go crazy and pull something new, but it's not going to be as far as what we're seeing nowadays in other sports. Mm -hmm. Now, in other sports, you see triple backflips. Three, double backflips, you see them yeah. daily, daily shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's still not happening in streetboard. So, um, you know, I guess that we should be doing triple backflips right now, for sure. And maybe quadruples. I mean, triple backflips, I was pulling that in Korea in 2014 mm -hmm. in, in foam pit. Oh, not, wow. not not on wood. Yeah. Like I would never pull that out of a contest. Yeah. You know, the adrenaline of a contest helps you land that chip. Yeah, that's yeah, backflip. Yeah, that's backflips is enough backflips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Backflips. Five backflips, six backflips. <laughs> just call it a bear flip. Backflips. <laughs> and yeah. anything yeah. more than three is yeah. just a bear flip. Bear flip. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Man, that's it's crazy. that's possible. The ramp was big enough in Korea. So okay. you could do that? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, Six times 360 is uh, 2160. Anyone who got it? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so you spent a lot of time in China. Right? Yeah. When did you move there and why? I moved in 2012. Mm -hmm. And I moved with my mom. Mm -hmm. I am um, like, when I finished university, um, I felt. I felt I had no idea what to do with my life. Um, so I saw my mom when she was retiring, and I felt like a lot of things were going on in China. My dad was saying like, hey, China's the future. Take a look, look for it, go. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, we, we talked with my mom and said like, okay, um, what if I help you start an office with her career, she's an architect. So, I don't know, it felt very good like mm -hmm. to do something of your own. Like I study business. Um, I didn't start Gazpacho boards yet. Mm -hmm. We weren't doing boards yet. Um, so it felt that this was an opportunity to yeah. build something of, of our own. So I helped her um, building out an architecture studio. It went pretty well. Like um, she was a she was a freelancer here. Uh -huh. She was you know yeah she was taking care of like four kids. Uh -huh. I was the last one. I was the youngest. So when I was grown enough. I felt like, hey, what if I, you know, kind of give back yeah. and give myself? I mean, it was a great adventure for myself. And so we turned her freelance business, doing offices and residences into something that eventually we did, like shops, restaurants, hotels, theme parks and shopping malls. Wow. So wow. it went pretty well. Yeah. And, and then while I was there, um, I was in the factory of the world, right? So I remember, I don't remember who was, I would swear it was Thomas Kinley. But I don't remember exactly who, maybe him, maybe Uichi. They said, if you start a brand, we're going to buy from you. Yeah. They were the distributors by then, right? Yeah. Like, Thomas Kinley has been the biggest ever in Europe mm -hmm. um, for the last two decades, at least. And I remember, like, whoa, that easy. That, yeah. That's cool. Let's try. And then it took me, like, a year mm -hmm. to find a factory, do the prototyping, okay. yeah. learn how, how to do the, the whole thing. And then, yeah, we launched, and it's true, man. I mean, Thomas Kinglet started buying, Colin Horan start, yeah. started buying in UK, yeah. um, Yuichi in Japan, Vincenzo in Italy, uh, I don't know, France was buying, Belgium was buying. 
even Victor yeah. was buying for street wedding yeah, yeah. in the US. Mm. So I don't know, it, it, it was amazing. Cool. It, it helped me start big time. Yeah. So yeah, I, it felt like being in China, being in the factory of the world, mm. everything could yeah. be made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did, um, why did you, like the name Gaspacho, mm. I mean, it's obviously a very Spanish name, but why, why did you choose that? You know? <laughs> Um, it was a very silly brainstorming, mm. and I was working with Adria Ventura. Mm -hmm. Adria Ventura, like Gatpacho works, most of it came out of Adria and me. The logo came from someone else, though. Okay. It, it came from Dur. Dur, uh, Alex Gallimo. He's a guy from, from here, from Barcelona. I remember doing the, the brainstorming with, uh, with Adri, and eventually it was like Gatpacho works or Yeti. Yeti. Yeti, like the, the, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah, snowman, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, the snow monster. Uh, and then we said, okay, let's throw a coin. Fuck it. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we made a poll, though. Uh, I remember asking online um, to a lot of people mm -hmm. and give like five or six options. Mm -hmm. So these two were in a draw. And I said, well, Adi, what do we do? Yeti or Gatpacho? I've got a weird memory of that, actually. And I think yes. I voted for Yeti. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happens. So we throw a coin. Mm -hmm. Yeti won. Mm -hmm. So oh, I okay. chose Gatpacho. <laughs> 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 I love it. And it's funny because, like, I think when, when you build a brand, a lot of people explain it like, yeah, because it's got the and then they start explaining you the brand. Mm -hmm. But actually, we did it the other way around. We just, you know, the name came out of whatever, mm -hmm. no reason. And then we started building, you know, it's, uh, it takes, yeah. it tastes great in the summer, like gazpacho, like streetboarding. It's bloody color. It's yeah, healthy. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know. But we start looking for meanings afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Retrospectively, it's like it's like I I think I've said this on on the on Dragon Cast before about like you know Beast of the Beastie Boys. Yeah. So after they formed, people were like, okay, why Beastie Boys? And so they came up that it means boys entering anarchistic states towards internal excellence. <laughs> <laughs> but that was afterwards. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, well. Um, Gaspacho, like, who's who's the team? Um, good question. <laughs> okay, <laughs> who, who was <clears throat> on the team in the beginning? <laughs> um, in the beginning, I remember, um, oh shit, man, um, many people has been like kind of on and off. Um, Christian De Deo, uh, I think he has always been in the team. Um, Bernard Pomerol mm -hmm. as well um, then I remember asking Eric and Tony mm. in the beginning but Colin was doing a, a company at the same time yeah so it was a tough call um, they went with Co with with Colin mm -hmm. um, and then I remember uh, oh shit who else was in the beginning it was Bernard Max Anderson. Uh, Max Anderson, of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. Sorry. Max Anderson, Bernard, uh, holy shit. Me. Oh, fuck, man. Christian. That's Christian, yeah, of course. And then, but there was somebody, there was someone else. I remember, I remember, and this, this was, uh, it was very fucked up. Uh, a couple of years later, um, Colin Brand didn't work so well, and then I was talking to I was talking to Alex Villanueva. Mm -hmm. I thought he was sick. He was an amazing writer, and I thought it would be so dope to have this guy in the team. I remember talking to him and say, "Hey, are we gonna do this? Like, do you think yeah, you would yeah. like to join?" Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, let's talk about it when I'm back in Spain. Yeah. And then some shit happened. Mm -hmm. And then when I was in Spain, I absolutely forgot that I ever, <laughs> the same way I'm forgetting names now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I absolutely forgot. So I was like, here, I don't know, for some reason, maybe, I don't know, I met Tony. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I said, hey, Tony, do you wanna, do you wanna join Gath Pacha Words? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, fantastic. I was like, yeah, nice, man. <laughs> nice, we got a great writer. So I went back to China and then Villa called me or wrote me an email. I said, like, yeah, I see that you, you got Tony, but 
what happened with me? I thought that was joy, and I was like, oh my fucking god, fuck man, I forgot. I absolutely oh, forgot. Don't worry, you got hooked up in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's just like the the problem is I didn't react. Yeah, I could yeah. have reacted like, you too, come and join us. Yeah, yeah, why, yeah. why not? Yeah. But I didn't for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what happened there. Um, and instead of Villa, we got uh, Soga. Soga in yeah. Japan. He was yeah. killing him in Japan. Is he still staying? So I he I don't. I'm not sure. I'm seen him for a while. I think yeah. so, recently there was. Wow. This is the thing, man. It's like unless you kind of actively seek people out, you don't always get like if they've mm. posted something. I think recently mm. I saw something, but I don't think he's like pushing it at the same level. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't. Get, I don't have Instagram anymore okay. in my yeah. phone. Yeah. I mean, I have it in a different phone. Okay. That dies in this phone. This phone okay. dies. This battery dies in thirty minutes normally. So I only connect it to. <laughs> Post shit as yeah. a block, and then, and then that's it. I don't open it, and I'm, yeah. I don't have it, so I don't see what other people are doing. Uh, but anyway, we got Soga, and then we got Nacho as well. Ah, Nacho, oh, yes, Nacho, man. Oh, I love Nacho, it's the, man. So much style. He is, it, he's just mesmerizing to watch. Yeah, it's like it's like Eric. I see these guys, and I see I don't know. I see poetry, man. I see yeah. it's beauty. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful, and they're good. Yeah. And they, they, they pull sick tricks, but they do it with such a style yeah. that they just want me to want to watch them, man, all the time. Uh, Nacho's ripped as well. He's like, <laughs> he's yeah. ripped. And I like, and when we, we were on the Cobra tour, like, he's a great surfer. surfer. He's a great surfer. Mm. And, and I, I was always like, because like, he's older, yeah. like, a bit older than me. And I was, I was like, man, he's so ripped. And now I, I know his secret. You're like talking to him. Like, mm. You're like here talking. And then suddenly he's just there doing tricep dips, <laughs> like, and then you're like, and then you're somewhere else, like, you know, you just like you just had like a coffee or whatever. And you talk to him, and he's and suddenly he's down doing press ups like throughout the day, like, and I like that. It's like building your exercise routine into the day, like that. Yeah, I was telling telling my girlfriend Carlotta about it like two days ago because I start, I was talking to her and I started doing some press ups. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I was like, trying to be like Nacho, man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah we're, we're coming up to an hour. Yeah. 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 We need to talk about China and China. Gazpacho. What are you doing now? Do you want to talk about that? Well, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, oh, fuck. Wait. Um, I want to show you something. Okay. To answer that question. I think it's really cool. It's like a newspaper. Oh, yeah. Um, but wait, wait, I'll tell you. I don't know what happened. Um, I have a brother who came uh, to help me out with the boxes. Yeah. From the movie. And I think he moved a folder that I have with all my press. Okay, are you clicking? Yeah. yeah. Close. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. What's going on with connections? Yeah. Oh, oh shit, I'm very full now. No, no. Did you know that Spain has the fastest average internet speeds in the world? Yes. Like it's the world or Europe? I, yeah. I, I read about it. Yes. Yeah, I read that. Um, but I don't know if you're believing it. I don't know, yeah, because <laughs> mine no, is, no. they say it's like trillions of like trillions megabytes per <laughs> second. And I don't know, man. <laughs> No, maybe they had an infrastructure. Yeah. But I don't know. It's like economy. Mm -hmm. it, it has its own nature, but you don't really feel it as a user. Yeah. The same way the trend goes, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway, we can go without it. Anyway, I used to have like this newspaper um, from this guy. We got like two hour interview, and from the whole two hour interview, he got as a headliner just a random sentence that I that I. But at some point, and it was like, I know that every time that I compete or that I skate and I train hard, um, I can end up in a wheelchair. And that was the freaking headline of the, of the interview cover. And I'm like, oh shit. 
but but it's true it's like a like a thought in the back of the head yeah when you're for example when i was pulling the first double back flip or when i do something i don't know how it's going to end up um you have that thought i mean you don't believe it otherwise yeah. you wouldn't do it you believe your odds are with you yeah but it is there sometimes and and it's interesting because right now i work for people with disabilities okay yeah like i work with this guy he had this crazy amazing idea of building a device that goes into your mouth mm -hmm. and then with your tongue and with your teeth and with your breath you can control a computer a phone a tablet a smart tv whatever that has a bluetooth antenna so we are developing this device to help people with disabilities connect to their personal devices um but again it's a technology that is so new that it might be also useful for astronauts we're talking, yeah. we're talking to astronauts yeah they when they walk they have spacewalks uh, because bluetooth works in space yeah. so oh, really? yeah it's one of the few uh technologies okay. that work in space so when they have their hands busy they can yeah. still control uh stuff with their mouth and we're talking to surgeons Okay. And they are yeah. bloody handed. Um, they can also control like iPads to review the history or see pictures of previous operations or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it's for situational impairment and also for people with disabilities. And uh, and it's it's I don't know. I think it's it's yeah. it's a very it's a very nice uh, thing to do, man. Like most of my work is talking to people who have lost mobility of their bodies mm -hmm. and. I am freaked out of the amount of energy that these people have. Mm -hmm. It is crazy how someone who was walking and, yeah. you know, moving their body just like you and me, um, they cannot do it anymore. And they're not depressed. It freaks me out. I would be, I would be depressed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I could make it. Mm -hmm. But most of the people I talk to, they're charging my batteries. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy how they can, how can they can send me all this energy, man? They're so full of power. So I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm learning a lot through this, and and yeah, that's cool. that's my work now. Cool, man. That's a, that's, that's a, fascinating shit, man. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. No, I mean, I I was thinking earlier. I was like, oh, actually, yeah. I wonder if there will be applications. You know, yeah. I guess like with like on spacewalks and things like that so i mean it sounds insane technology and yeah it'd be great to see when it when, when it launches, launches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah next year yeah. we we'll launch next year and and i think it's 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 limitless i mean the we were talking to um atletico de madrid oh, which really? is like a very top uh, soccer team to their doctor to dr bielan um because we think that also with our device we can measure when a soccer player is breathing through their nose and when it's breathing through their mouth, mouth right and you know all mouth, the, the, the efficiency of yeah. bringing the oxygen through the nose mm -hmm. through the muscles mm -hmm. way better than the mouth so mm -hmm. with our device you can identify who's breathing who's breathing who's using what to breathe during mm -hmm. what time, time. how yeah. long and who needs training okay and yeah. then make training programs see who's following the training or whatnot. Yeah. yeah but soccer is is it's it's it's, it's, it's a very complex industry and you need science behind that mm -hmm. and you need to do pilot testing that's a lot of money and it's a lot of time yeah, yeah. so we're gonna and that's not so much urgent yeah right yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. um i think someone who cannot move their body uh if you build tools for them that to control a computer maybe get them back to work yeah help them do that yeah of course um that's way more urgent than helping soccer so players you know yeah. run faster yeah, um, yeah. but it is something that long term to, you has can, possibilities yeah. with applications yeah yeah mm -hmm. you got a whole world yeah. there yeah. you can use it to unlock the trunk next time you're locked in there naked <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. next time you're tied up in the trunk <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no one is yeah <laughs> Yeah, because trunks yeah, are cool. electric. Yeah. Should we uh, wrap up and do? Uh, yeah, is there else? anything else you want to talk yeah. about? Because we're coming up to the um, an hour. Any other subjects we missed? Um, no, no. I would say that um, I guess because of all the situation of COVID mm -hmm. and uh, everything has been very hard. Mm -hmm. Like our factory in Batch of Words um, stopped uh, giving a service, so we have to look for a new factory. So Gaff Batch of Words is kind of dormant right now um but right now i'm kind of getting back to myself i've been also yeah. out of the labor market for a couple of years since mm -hmm. covid and now that i'm back at it i start like feeling the need of starting things again 
So probably once I am back to myself, uh, we're gonna push that back towards. That would be back great again. To see. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so probably 20, 2023, 2024, gazpacho is going to be back. Sweet, right. sweet. Just on like a low simmer. Oh, wait, no, it's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to cook it, though. Do you have to? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Do you have to? So when you make gazpacho, yeah. do, you, do you cook it hot and then let it cool down? No, 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 no. You don't cook it. You don't cook it at all. It's no, just no, mixed. No. Yeah, it's just, um, uh, you triturate it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you triturate it. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, fuck. How do you say this, man? Anyway, you, you make a mess blender. out of tomatoes. Blender. And you blend it, yes. Blender. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you blend tomato and then you put you blend everything there, like peppers, yeah. uh, cucumbers and yeah. whatever you wanna throw in it. And then if you want you can um, skim it. Yeah. People some people skim it, some people don't. And that's pretty much it. Okay. And I think cool. it's fridge to make it cold. Oh, so yeah. It's better. But that, yeah. Mm. Okay. Cool. cool. Sweet, man. <laughs> Um, cool. Well, I mean, thank you very much, man. I'm looking forward to it's a like you're like, yeah, I don't know, man. Love you, man. <laughs> Love you. Thank you for doing this. It's really cool. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for brunch, man. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for guys. brunch. Yeah, pleasure having you here. Delicious. Before before we go, we normally do a little quick fire round. So I ask you a question and just first quick answers. So, um, what's your favorite streetboard video ever? Glass. Glass. Where? Where? I don't know. First thing come to my head. No. <laughs> okay, I have to answer this. Oh, okay. okay. What's your <laughs> <laughs> so is so. Okay, it has to make sense. Yeah, yeah, sense. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so, what's your favorite streetboard video ever? Uh, uh, drop in. Okay. Drop this. Drop this. Oh, okay. Biggest trick you ever landed. Uh, double backflip. Yeah. Cool. Your favorite rider ever? Uh, Max Anderson. Cool, cool, cool. Um, your favourite country you've ever visited? Uh, Latvia. Latvia. Okay. Favourite colour? Blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. And um, if you were stuck on a desert island with one street border, who would that street border be? Sergi. Sergi. <clears throat> cool. It's That's a popular answer. Yeah, it's a popular answer. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, cool. I grew up with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Well, thank you very much, Gabby Munoz, for breakfast. That's been Dragon Cast episode. Um, yeah, um, if you do like this content, hit the subscribe button below. Um, we've got tutorials on how to ride these beautiful boards as well as a load of other things. And Sam, any last words? No. No, no let's go skate. Cool, let's go skate. Until well, next time, Dragon out. Cheers. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Street body dreams, future and past. Here in the present, it's Dragon Cast. Yeah.